Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. I'm here with a large group of traders again this morning, trading with me on Zoom, and we are going to be trading AMD, a thousand shares this morning. We're going to be following the RV strategy, so we're about to go into the details of that and what else this channel has on it. Make sure that you read this disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor. You should seek the advice of somebody you trust before you try to emulate any of these trading demonstrations here, and, uh, and uh, be very careful trading the sim first, and make sure that you do small share size and, and, and realize that you know trading stocks you can lose money okay i've been better at that disclaimer before but read this <laughs> so anyway so um what is the rv strategy what is all this stuff we have to offer so we teach a bunch of different strategies here we're just starting to teach a new one the mid cap the rv strategy is a large cap strategy dealing with the uh, uh, a large cap being it has to be over a minimum of 25 billion market cap and a 1 billion float um, and we're looking for stocks that move sideways and consolidate. And we usually start the trading half hour after the market opens when things slow down. And then we try to make moves on a range bound strategy based in that consolidation. It's a very, very popular strategy. There's a book out about it called Day Trading Volume One that's been out for a while. And that has all the nuances of exactly how to trade, exactly how to set it up with the Fibonacci's, where all the support and, re, uh, support and resistance levels should go and then how to trade it within those levels. So I highly recommend you get that book. And while we're talking about books, I'll tell you uh, to deal with your emotions with any strategy, I would get Trading in the Zone. I'll have a link to that as well as Day Trading Volume 1. Um, and then I would say get uh, the Candlestick Pattern Playbook so you know your candlestick patterns that's another book that's a bestseller and you really should know your patterns i'll have a link to that and then finally best loser wins which basically um that's one that i really it made a difference in my trading career early on as well as trading in the zone but the, both of those books will have a link now that the best loser wins kind of anti-pattern but um you can take what you want from each thing um, because he trades a different way than what I'm going to show you today. Um, so all those things will be linked as well as I recommend you logging. One of the reasons I started to push books in the first place is I found that so many of the subscribers here did not log their trades. And you, you just, you're just a huge detriment if you don't keep track and track and not just like on TraderView or something, which is really good too for your metrics. But you, you you need to know your thought process. So, you know, I was the one that was instrumental to get the publishing company to put out the trading uh, uh, journal logbook. And that's a uh, trading journal logbook. I'll have a link for it. That actually has a criterion in it to trade an open strategy, which is pretty valuable. So all those will have links and I'll move on from that. Now, how do you trade this strategy? So this is a range bound strategy. The first thing you do, I have a minimize down here, a day chart. You open up that day chart, and you can see yesterday's closes right here. This is the active day. I'll, I'll explain all these lines in a minute here. So under my picture, it says this closed at $167.69 yesterday. And then the Wilters ATR is down here. So that's an average true range over 14 days. So keep an eye on that number right there. When I hover over this candle, it tells us that average true range on this day is $7.13 yesterday. So what you do is you divide that $7.13 in half and you subtract half of it from the close of yesterday which is 169.69 167.69 and you get the atr low and then you add the other half to the close of yesterday and you get the atr high that's the average true range mean like the center of that range is right there which was the close of yesterday so now you've made a range Right, this is where the action's going to be. It's a range-bound strategy, like the oldest strategy in the book. The difference is in the—I mean, out there, not in that book. <laughs> but um, the difference is that people that trade range-bound, they all have different strategies, and, and some people swear by theirs, and the other people don't work. But <clears throat> the reality, reality is, if you can identify a range, you have a major leg up in trading. Whether you're trading five minutes, fifteen minutes, one hour, you know, one day three weeks, one month, a year. 
if you're, you're marking a range right now, this is marked for scalping. This is marked for right now in the moment. I'm only going to trade for about a half hour. So there's a lot of people that want to day trade and then go on with their life. And that's why these lower, uh, faster time frame range strategies have been uh, are being developed for you know, quite a few years now. And they've really got some legs. They really work out well. I mean, the people on this particular strategy, since we started trading it in March of last year, I know one gentleman made over a million dollars. Many have made hundreds of thousand dollars. And just so you can read the chat, um, some are struggling. And that's why I recommend trading in the zone because usually – um, cause since we know that it does work for some people and not for others, then you have to say, and they identify it themselves in the chat. It's, it must be a, they're having a problem holding or not. God it's so hard. It is the hardest thing in trading guys to, um, to control your emotions, to hold a position or, and then, it, then there's the train of getting in and out at the right times which is what I'm going to try to cover a little bit more today and I continue to try to cover. So day trading success is, um, you know, whole whole journey for you is to try to get anybody to make $100 a day, $200 a day, $300 a day. We don't sell courses here. Everything is free. This is just for entertainment. You should not try to follow the strategy without really reading the book and about it and other books and talking to a financial advisor and, you know, trading a sim until you're green. Um, so anyway, what you do next after you have that day is you go to a four-hour chart. I had one minimized down there. And you're looking for pivot points. You're looking for to create channels within that range to tell you, hey, when will that stock maybe turn around and go a different way when I'm trading it in here? Well, wh where would be a good place to look where it's turned around before? Why did it turn around before? People got out of their position, got in their position, are waiting to get into position after they got out of position, you know, whatever the reason might be that you need to take note of those levels. And four hours is, you know, acc accumulation of many, the one minute, five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, you know, so there's the, the four hours is even give you more credence to that actual level. So you see that I have marked the pivot points. Um, wicks and bodies, and I tried to cover anything that fell in within the action of this ATR going back 10 days. So this is 20 days, but it only goes back 10 days here. And I marked them. And that's where we're, we're hoping to tell us that this stock may turn around at these channels. At least be one more thing to look for. You can't, you, you respect them till you don't. Look what happened here on this four hour. Like it broke this Fibonacci, which I'll talk about in a second, and stopped dead and then turned around. So, you know, you have to add the other things that you're trading with, like five-minute chart. You know, I'm pointing to the chart. You can't see me. Five-minute chart and one-minute chart alignment. You know, this grid that I put up here, which, by the way, is a custom script you can get for free, is showing you every one of these five-minute candles when it's about to – when the people trading the five-minute – they're jumping in and jumping out, and it's really important for you if you're trading one minute to know where that is. Now, you can look at a clock. This just makes it easier. You know, you can literally see it coming. This is my volume profile set up in the middle here. See this little kind of yellowish hue and this red line? This is the point of control. There's a video that shows you just how to set that up. This is intraday in the, at the high level and the low level, again, giving you um, help of when this might turn around, when it might, you know, where is it going to, this is where most of the price action is happening. So look at the 1,300 shares going by there. So remember, you multiply, I mean 13,000, remember you're multiplying um, these, these level two by 100. So these are a large cap, even with 1,000 shares, there is no trouble getting this filled. Remember, uh, Thinkorswim gives a liquidity of 3.7 times whatever you see here. So if you happen to be lucky enough to be trading on Thinkorswim with us, um, for instance, if you had only had a thousand shares to fill, if you only saw a thousand, it would automatically fill you three point seven thousand if you need it, if you called for that. So that's an amazing thing that it does. So it doesn't have to be on the level two. However, with dark pools and icebergs and um, you know all the other <clears throat> front runners and um, spoofers and stuff, this half of this is hidden from you. So don't worry about getting filled. Now, you have to worry about the spread, you know, which is now messed up right here, I see. So I look at the market maker. This is what they're going to give me as you start to see me trade. You're going to want to watch that number, right? Um, I'm not sure I showed you the FIB, so let's make sure we do that. 
So this is the fib. So this is on a five minute chart. You always go from left to right. This happens to be high to low. I'm marking the Fibonacci levels, very respected levels. Here's our channel. So you've got at least two that hit that in there and one right outside the ATR. So look at how these got respected. Let's just take a look. Look at it. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, turned around. You know, so Fibonacci levels are important at the pre-market. Tap, 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 tap. It, ho it hovered around. And yet here's where it was marked. So when those lines came up, they, they meant something, right? You know why they mean something? Just like the candlestick pattern? Because other people see them too. So they all react, right? That's why it's called a pattern. <laughs> you know, we're all reacting to a pattern, you know? Now, this is a... Um, so this isn't rocket science, guys. It's just... It seems like it until you learn it. So another Fibonacci. This is from low to high. Remember, left to right. So now we have more levels to help us. Only one came in the center here. But look outside of the ATR, how well those were respected. So, I mean, it's not perfect. But, it, you, you know, you're just trying to get an edge to help you trade. Um, so, guys, we have two minutes till we start trading. So I'm going to try to get rid. I'll be calling the ball for everybody here today, but they take their own trades. Oh, how far back am I here? Here we are. Okay. So let me get my five-minute chart set up here, guys. This is a 15-minute chart down here. Now, these are going to make sure they they keep me honest here. I want to make sure I see the real move here because you can get lost in the one-minute move here. And I'm going to be trading, you know, off these pivot lines, and I'm going to be calling out the patterns. So the patterns are really important. And, of course, the scalpers indicator is very important, too. It's giving me the percentage. This is like, this is so, you should get this. It's totally free. I'll have a link for it on this channel. Episode 83 has a whole, has a, um, uh, 10 other free custom scripts, episode 83. There's also an episode about how to speed up your computer, all the different equipment that I use. And I don't have any affiliate links. I'm not making any money. I'm just telling you how, where to, where to get that. I know you think it's some sort of sales pitch. It's, it's, yes, it is. It is a sales pitch to help you. Um, and then there's one about um, to see which way the market goes. Did I already say that? One about um, I'm going to be making a new one about scanners this weekend. There's one about charts. I already have one about scanners. Um, just just look around because there's 140 something episodes um, and there's a lot. So this this shows you the percentage. So if you were picturing, okay, we only got 30 seconds. I got to stop talking. Okay, so. I have been watching this, guys, and I saw it swell down and bank off the fib, and that sent it up. So right now, I want to see its strength up here in the next few seconds to see if it's going to turn around off this 20 or if this point of control is going to consolidate it for a bit. 15 seconds now. It's pulling back down. So you can see right now that it's a battle, but I am actually looking to short this. I think I'm going to short this, guys. Here we go. Yeah, I'm in right now on a short 1,000 shares. And uh, I remember what happens is at the half hour off hour, um, half hour after open, there's usually a, a continuation move for all those people that jump in right then. And that's one of the reasons I did it. So I got it at 167.60. This would just be a continuation. So this is an inverted hammer. Um, this is a, uh, no, that's a hammer right there. Cause a hanging man would be at the top. These were telling you it was going to turn around and it did. But then I always think that the time increment trumps that. Now you're going to see me reverse a lot and I'm going to talk about why I do what I do. So you can, and you can go back and look on your, uh, platform and you can see what, you know, the day that, that, that I'm trading, you can see where these are marked. So you know that they're all in a logical place. You know, it's not voodoo magic here. And then see how I call them. Now, we broke through the fib. And, you know, this would be a highly respected that might turn it back around. So it did for a second. Now it's hitting on this four hour. Um, so, you know, I didn't. Uh, I did have a small, a small loss here before we started. Um, when we were just. I was thinking about trading the open earlier today, and then we decided not to do it. But um, so you know, you look at you look at the scalping indicator here to see how many people right now at this moment. That's a very strong move up, but I'm in the move the other way, so I'm going to hang tight for a minute um, and just see. There's a big gap that could pull this down right here. Just suck it down with a void. So if you know anything about setting up your 
you know, your, your charts to, to take a swing trade. This is a swing trade mentality where you feel like it's got no bottom and it falls. So this is the ceiling. This is the floor. Ceiling, floor, ceiling, floor. So how hard is it to break through that? Now we have another inverted hammer down here, which is telling you it's going to turn around. This is a, just multiple things here telling you this is going to turn around. So I could have missed it. I, I might have had to turn around already. It's just staying on that fib. If it if it breaks it again, I'm absolutely going to turn around. So. I'm getting ready to see if it's it is pulling down now to that four hour, and I will I will uh, flip it because of that uh, inverted hammer. I'm gonna flip it at that four. If it, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip it right there, guys. I reversed. I got it at sixty six sixty eight. So I'm right here at this four hour. Now if it breaks through here, then I'd be more inclined to reverse back. But I did bank the money, and you know if you watch me trade, I like to get a cushion first off, and then I'm a little bolder with my moves. So obviously. I should have held it a little longer, but you know, it, with these share size, you can't be that sensitive about it, right? So I have a max loss today of $1,000 per trade and $2,000 for the day. If I have three losing trades in a row, I will stop. That's my trading plan. That would make you think you did the math where well, that would be 3,000. Your max loss is 1,000, is uh, 2,000. But no, I don't, I'm not, I can get out on a losing trade without losing the max. So obviously, I don't want to lose the max. But what that is for is a fail safe in a trading plan if I'm just emotionally hijacked in a trade and I'm just like, I know it's going to turn around. I know it's going to turn around. No, no, no. And then you just have to, no matter what, make a hard, fast rule get out. And if you think it's going to turn around, then get back in. But you lost that thousand, you're done. You know, can't get it back. You know, whatever it might be, whatever your max loss might be, ten bucks. Everybody has a different uh, way they trade. So it's banging off against this. Uh, you know, this is kind of a bullish tweezer here. Um, we're banging off that fib, which is making me think that uh, it. You know, if it's not going to break through here, so let's see. I mean, I'll, I'll, now you, we're channel trading, so we if we create a channel right here, this would be great. We can go up and down, up and down with this channel. So let's see. Is everybody doing? I'm keeping an eye on everybody up here. This is a good trade right now. I don't want to reverse too quick here. So now it broke through the fib, and it's on this four hour. Now it's gone up to the next four hour. So I don't think I don't know how long it's going to keep going up. So I'm getting ready to turn around. I'm going to turn around right there. Um, and again, it could keep going and I'll just turn right back around. So I've got it at 167.39 uh, on a short position now. And it's hurting me. So it is continuing. Now this is the 20 moving average right here. And where's my nine moving average? Oh, it looks like my. Nine moving edge it isn't set up on this chart right now. That's annoying. Um, hmm, why would I have taken that off? That's freaky. So now we just started a new five minute for the five minute people. 15 minute is very unsure. So now this is, did that create a bull flag? No. Okay. So the five minute has sort of a, wow, look at that hammer there. Five minutes telling you it's going to turn around. I'm in the wrong position here. So I'm going to try to carve out 5K today if I can. Um, okay, so we have a shooting star here, which is a sign that this could turn around. So this is a shooting star. So let's see. Now, this body doesn't need, as long as it's three times as much, the body, it's a shooting star, doesn't need to be thin. Um, a lot of people get that wrong. Get that book, guys, because this is literally telling you this is going to turn around. Even though it hasn't yet, that's what it's saying it's going to do. Now, it's getting some support on this four hour, so we'll keep a close eye on this.
There we go. So I'm going to go off that fib, guys. Yeah, I'm going to take it off that fib. So I almost got to 2,000 there. There's 2,000. So I'm playing this channel for a second. So I'm hoping this fib's going to give us support. You guys are good. I guess somebody's in the red up there. I don't know what happened there, but I don't like to see that. Um, So I am long off this fib. Uh, I mean, Charlie's handling the chat here today, so she's letting everybody know my position. Um, they can see my screen, of course, but they're watching. They're trading. So it's hard. Um, and you can turn on voice on. Some people can turn voice on chat, and, of course, they can hear me as well. Um, Uh, it's staying on this fib, boy. It's bouncing here. Now that is a uh, bull flag. There you go, guys. So if this if this next candle is green, then the body of the flag, the the pole, the length of the pole, attach it to here, which is roughly thirty uh, seventy five cents. Should that's what the move could be? Should be you look at like up here that maybe, um, you know, to get us up to, to uh, up here at least in this area by the point of control 167, you know, like in the 70s or 80s, maybe not all the way up here, but if this stays a if this stays a uh. No, it did. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay, so if this turns green off this fib, then we have a bull flag. Not only that, but we also have a spinning top or a bear uh, or a bull um, reversal, doji, a bull doji reversal. So you have, excuse me, two different patterns here in a fib saying this is going to go up. This is a beautiful drop a whole bunch of shares in predictable move right here. Doesn't mean it will do it, of course. Um, so you'd want to be, you know, you have to react quickly. But if you know your patterns, these two patterns, so there it goes. These two patterns are so strong telling you it's going to go up, and it is indeed going up. So the question is how high. So now this is when you look at the point of control for a turnaround. This area here is going to maybe turn it around, or this four hour could hit it early and turn it around. I mean, it could break through. So you'd watch. My bet would be I would reverse here and then wait and then get back in again. I would rather bank the money myself um, on a reversal. So um, four hundred and twenty on this right now. This move is nowhere near complete. It shouldn't be anyway. Now it's getting close to complete. It's up at the point of control. This is what it's going to give me. 80, 81. How high can I get that? That might have been it. It's right there at that point of control, right at the top. Let's see if it keeps moving. 87, 90. I'm going to take that, guys. So that was right up at this other four hour. So now uh, I took a chance because people say, why are you bucking the trend? It's going up, man. I hear that all the time. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to scalp out more money, guys. I'm trying to predict by using these. It's not a tough prediction. Just every time it, it, it breaks through one of these ceilings, it's like it's being tethered. It's like it's a rubber band pulling it down, right? Now, that rubber band could snap, so I'm just ready to go. But what did I do in the meantime? I banked a whole bunch of money. So if I lose 400 or 500 before I turned around, I'm no worse to wear and I'm gambling, then it's going to turn around again. Okay, good. You're not red anymore. That's good. Um, oh, wow. Look at that. So that's a, an, an amazing bear tweezer move if this is going to close red. So that would mean it would move down the length of the candle. I don't know if it'll go that far if this, if this stays a bear tweezer. This is nice and strong. Now you had strong buyers there. They were going up. So this is this is an interesting reversal right here. 
and it's banging off that four hours. This must be pretty well respected, this pivot line right here. So let's call it 168. Remember how I said go to the even dollar if you're even close? So 168 seems to be a real threshold right now going back up. Um, and yeah, so that did become a bear tweezer, which means it should end up down here somewhere if it if it completes this move. You know, it could it could be the full length of that candle uh, tacked onto that candle, which is about right down here. Read your patterns. That's how the move. It's it, if you know your patterns, it's really. I'm just amazed how many people don't study patterns because it literally. Tell it's telling you what's going to happen. Why? Because everybody sees it, so they all play it the same way. I hate to use the way play, but everybody trades it the same way because they all see the same thing. I'm not making that up. You know, you can see it happening. So here we go. So get ready to reverse off the fib. Is that it? Looking for. I wanted to go back down there. I missed it. So let's see this 167. Um, 10 or 167 even if it breaks that fib you know, the sellers kind of dropped on that one but the volume went up if you look at the sky look at the strength of those sellers i'm not jumping out of that move so let's see how low that's going to go wow so that's going that's continuing so that broke the fib and it's continuing so we're going to stay with that for a little bit um yeah i saw this 70 percent 80 percent this is what everybody's doing. So that's why the scalping indicator is so important because these don't tell you. I mean, if you're just reading your volume, it's not really telling you what's happening here, what's happening inside the candle. So this is a free indicator, guys. You should definitely get this. Um, so maybe that was it. Maybe it just punched through and it's going to turn around. But no, sellers are still wicked strong on the scalping indicator. It's if this is another red candle, it could be making the ladder, a uh, ladder uh, uh, bottom uh, pattern, which is means it will reverse somewhere in this area, right around the. Now this could be that says 166.60. So let's think about it as the half dollar 166.50. A lot of it's a psychological levels, even dollar, half dollar, psychological levels. There is no pattern here to call. Uh, it, it, you know, it could have been three black crows, but now it's. A fourth crow has flown in. <laughs> um, so and the, these are pretty even bodied. The wicks are throwing it off. Now, remember, I have a video that shows how to set up your flat. Wow. Man, I know that's, that's going to turn around sooner or later here. So let's see what it does. Now, this is where it turned around twice before, right at this level. So keep a close eye here. Sellers, just look at that, how strong the sellers are. <laughs> it's not going to turn around. That's just, oh, there you go. Finally, it, nope, nope, that was just because the candle changed. Yeah, okay, so there's finally a, a, some some buyers are saying, hey, let's turn this thing around. So um, great trade, $1,200 trade right now. I could make my 5K on this trade the way it's going. Yeah, I'm going to reverse, right? I'm going to take that, guys. So I'm going long again right there. That just, it stayed there too long. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to bank up or not. Ouch, am I going to get hurt? Yeah, it's a battle right here now. I could be on the wrong end of this. I, I thought it was going to send it up. It looked like it was going to send it up. This could be my first losing trade. So let's try to keep it to a minimum. I've been doing good. Not liking the way the action is as compared to the other times I've done this. This is telling me I've got the wrong position here. So if this candle needs to turn green for me or I'm going to reverse. Or I might take a lesser loss if that happens again. That was $70. Yeah, it's just, it's going to break through. There it goes. I got to get out. All right, so that was a bad trade for me. Um, now it's going to go up, right? Because I got out. Okay. Well, you can't call. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Wow, I jumped out too soon. That's a that's a ladder bottom move right now. Okay, so you got a ladder bottom, which means this can go up into green. Five candles down, one green. Ladder bottom means it goes to the top of the ladder. So let's see if that's really going to happen. I'm going the wrong way yet again. If that happens, I'm not going to reverse again right away, guys. This is when you you see me hold to that thousand dollar threshold. I'm not going to want to do it, obviously, but. Um, 
I got a little stubborn when I'm forced to, to turn around knowing I should have been in this position. So I could have made money if I hadn't turned around. So if this next candle's green and comes up here, then you're probably going to see me turn around again. So, and that will be two bad trades. The other part is I say to myself, I'm going to stop with three bad trades. That doesn't mean stop for the day necessarily. It means get up, walk around, take a hike. Why are you trading badly? What's going on? Think about it. Analyze your look in your logbook. Analyze your trades. What did you do wrong? Were you getting overconfident? You know, what, what, what's happening? And then just take a minute and uh, before you come back. And it might stop you for the day. You know, everybody has to make your rules, make a trading plan. Follow it. It's just every day there's trades. Every day. If you let FOMO rule you, you will lose money as a trader. You could lose money. Let me put it that. There is no definite. And I don't know all. I'm just speaking from my own failing experiences. Okay, that's all I can do. So don't look at me like, well, how does he know? I, I don't know. I really do not know. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> so just maybe a little clue. But based on my experiences, that's all. So don't hate me. Um, okay, so I'm looking for it to bank off this. So it's turn, It's looking like it's turning around again. So I'm going to take that. So I got me over four. I banked four, which gets me really happy here. So I've got a big cushion here if I called it wrong. I'm going to take that. We'll go on a short. Got me another 100. There's very little slippage here, which is great. just hovering around here so see if we can bank off that four hour again I'm looking like a pinball machine I'm trying to get little tiny scalps in here and this is a risky thing I'm doing right now because there's no clear uh, pattern calling to do this I get a lot of chat why did you do this why do you do that I can't explain every single time I can mostly explain what I'm thinking, but not every single time. Um, you know, a lot of uh, what people call intuition is just that you can't articulate what you're feeling. I'm going to turn around there again. Yeah, so I, I think it's going to go long. That's my feeling right now. So this action right here is not, this is a spinning top at the bottom of a down move. That's a spinning top. That's a spinning top. All these are telling you it's going to turn around. It went further than I thought off of this move here. Um, this was the beginning of it. And then it looked like it was going to do a ladder bottom and then flipped around again. So there's a lot of, and then remember, every time it goes through there, it's like it's tethering it and pulling it back the other way toward the point of control. This is where most of the price action is. That's why having the intraday volume profile is so important. So you can see how strong the sellers were here on volume and how low they are here, how, how it's going down. So and there was a buyer kind of in the middle there, and this was telling you that there's less people supporting the shorts, less people shorting. As I say that, the position's getting worse for me. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that's what I see here, and um, I, I really think it's going to turn around. But And you've also got this, another four hour, and then you've got the lower level of the volume, intraday volume profile. So a lot of things to push it up and to hope that I made the move and bank that money. So um, Okay, you guys are doing pretty good. Everybody's, everybody's got a couple thousand, which is good. So here we go. We've just really slowed down and we're consolidating right here. Still no trouble getting filled, which is good. Sometimes you'll see if there's not enough hidden, you, 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 you hear it go, you know, you hear a bunch of bells and then and you, you slip because it has to fill a lower price. You don't really want that to happen. That's why we kept it only at 1,000 shares and not, we were talking about 2,000, um, but we didn't do that. You don't know, you know, obviously it is a consolidating strategy. So you want lower volume. You don't want crazy volume because then you lose control of what you're trying to do here. 
Now, if I can't read a pattern, what I'll do a lot of times is I'll extend the pattern so they become more clear for me. Um, this is a spinning top, spinning top sort of. Now we have sort of a, a bearish engulfing, and that's it, since that's at a bottom of a move here, this is a gravestone. This is the grave. A lot of people would say, well, that's the stone. No, this is the stone. This is the, the body. <laughs> anyway, that is telling you of a reversal, and look at it go. So that's a great trade. Um, as I'm sitting here talking, I'm, mo I'm losing the move here. I'm going to reverse there, guy off my, uh, guys, off my 20. And, of course, it still goes up. So certainly it should bank off the fib and turn around, please. Is it just going to keep going straight up? I've got it at 166.80. Wow. Okay, so I really did that way too soon. I got used to this action and didn't look for a big move. And that, that uh, gravestone signified a much bigger move. So I, got, I definitely did the wrong thing there. So I have to get out of this trade on a lesser loss as quickly as possible. I'm looking for it to dip maybe a little bit more. I don't want to see a 600 again. A little bit more dip, please. little dip. I'm just going to take that. Ouch. 400. Okay. This is support now. So I, I blew that. So that's two bad trades. At least they weren't in a row. Um, yeah, you can't win them all, guys. But um, I, st I started to get used to the little scalping. And this is a much bigger channel. And then it rested above the fib, which is now giving it support. If I just had held, then I would be, be able to get out for money, but I didn't. It broke back through the fib. It's resting on the 20 now. Yep, I just, when this happens, I just stop for a minute and just slow down and figure out why I'm calling these wrong. So another bear tweezer. Yeah, I started to, to get into trading too fast. So another great thing about the strategy is it all it usually always just goes back to where you are. You just might have to wait longer. Now, why I don't like to do that is the whole reason that I do reverses is that um, when when I'm waiting, then I can't take a whole bunch of trades. But if my trades aren't going well, I think it's better I wait a minute and uh, just get a bead on why I'm not focusing in as good as like yesterday. I was right on and the day before too, just just like clockwork. This was uh, this was an easy call. I just didn't think it was going to shoot up all the way up there. And then I lost a little confidence on how to trade that. So I'm just going to take a breath. We're doing good. We got over 4K. It's definitely time to make the five today. Five minutes slowly creeping up there. There's our VWAP over there. There's the nine on the five minute. I usually have a nine here. Oh, is this it way over here? That's bizarre. Um, so let's see it let's see it get up toward the point of control this time before I reverse let's play it a little smarter just wait Buyers are sort of dropping. The volume's dropping with the buyers. So I don't know how strong this will be going up. This channel should pull it up at least to 67.40. But look at the volume drop with the buyers. It's going to turn around up here. It's about to turn around up here, guys. So... Uh, I'm going to look to see if I can get a spring up toward that other four hour before I flip flip out of here. I'm looking at the market maker now. I'm not even looking at anything else but the price. Looking at that price, wanting to get into the like 50 cents. For, okay, 48. What did I get it at? 47. All right, so I reversed about right here. Well, right here is where I reversed. So, yeah, I'm at uh, 
167.47 short. <sighs> it's going to hurt me again. It's going to hurt me again. There's the point of control. Now the buyers are... <laughs> the buyers decided to get strong right when I got out. Yeah, the gods are against me today, clearly. But green is green, right? So I'm nice and green. We have another bearish tweezer. Perfect lineup. Almost picture perfect here. Banking out that four uh, hour really strong. I'm going to take that reversal again. I'm slowly winning this battle, but it ain't easy. Um, so I'm hoping that the, the fail safe is this fib, which is 167.10. So we're, I don't want to see it go through that. It's going back up. we go and I want to see me reverse maybe up here take 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 a look at that I just went way up so um, let's see what happens here so as the volume flipped from buyers to seller it dropped on sellers now you're seeing a huge influx come in on this next candle of buyers so um, let's see if it can push through that point of control or if it's just gonna stop right there that's already a $400 trade. there's my 5k so I don't want to lose that. I'd like to keep that, but there's still some time. I'm, I'm getting close to time, so guys, so. Um, oh, God, excuse me. Oh. Okay, so is it going to break off that point of control? Or is it going to keep going up? Looks like it's going to turn around there. Keep a close eye. Buyers, this tells me it is not turning around. It is going to keep going. So get the scalpers indicator, guys. I would have reversed there if it wasn't for that. So that's that's why that indicator is so handy. So 168 is a resistance for sure. It stopped. It broke it a little bit. Then it turned. Then it. And it came back down below it. I don't know how much longer I want to hold it up here. I feel like it's going to turn around. One more punch up maybe, and then I'll turn it. One more punch above. I'll just take that. What did I get it at? 168.03. 168.03, and I got over my 5K with a $400 cushion, and it's still going. It's still going. It really seemed like it wasn't going to uh, keep above 168. Remember, these are psychological levels that are very important. Um, sometimes I'll draw lines. It's just I can, I know to look for them. It just gets to be too crowded on the screen. A lot of you would say it's already too crowded, you know. But uh, I still gotta go to work. Ugh. So this isn't gonna be one of those nineteen thousand dollar days, um, but it's all right. It's all right. They'll get you spoiled, and then they you, you start to think that you're you're somebody, and you're not. You're just another lemming. So we're all just lemmings, traveling in a group, heading for that cliff. No. <laughs> um, okay, so this is showing me a reversal here, which is what I've been waiting for. I got a little. So let's see what happens here. Right now, you're forming a bull doji. I mean, a bear doji. So if this continues to stay, okay, so that's a bear doji. So that's a doji at the top of a bull move, which makes it a bear doji. It can be either color, and that signifies a reversal along with this four hour as it continues to go up and I look like an idiot. <laughs> no, I mean, obviously patterns don't always work, but they, they, they often take a minute or two before everybody realizes, you know, and then they, or, or that it can actually change the price action. But this is a reversal candle. So we want to we we should see this reverse down into this area at least. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm at my time now, guys, and I'm not going to lose my uh, my 5K. So you're going to see me get out soon here, just and call it a day. 
um, I mean, I like to call where it's going to go with confidence, but nobody really knows, you know. But um, it it should go down from here. It should it should keep going down. It hasn't done it yet. Wow, is it going to break that four hour and make me look bad? So here's a hanging man. So that's at the top. That's the guy's head. All right. I knew him. He wasn't very nice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, um, wow, I thought I had I thought I had more money than that a minute ago. Did I reading that wrong? Is that gonna go down and break that four hours? Is it gonna stop right there? I'm gonna get out any second, guys. Looking good. Can I make six K? Can I make six K? I don't think so. I'm going to get out 5740. So I am done for the day for me. Um, yeah, maybe it could. Came right down to this point of control again on this reversal patterns. This is a reversal pattern. All right, guys. Well, hopefully um, you like what you saw today. Don't forget to subscribe. We have, you know, um, two, two, three, four videos a week covering various topics. So we hope to see you there. Be safe out there. Give you my... Uh, my catchphrase is stay green. Stay green, guys. Thanks for watching.